Hey, it's Captain Matt, Boater Secret Weapon, and today we're talking about the most common engine problems and how to fix them. So, number one engine problem I think that's out there is related to fuel issues. So, it's not actually an engine problem at all, it's bad fuel. It could be that you're just flat out out of gas, you don't have any fuel. Or it could be a fuel filter, whether it's the fuel water separator, uh, as you got too much water in the fuel, or your inline fuel filter is getting clogged because it needs to be changed on a regular basis. Uh, next is maybe you got some water in the gas or you got ethanol that sort of sucked in the water uh, because of its uh, its natures and just having that bad gas. Checking the fuel water separator uh, is a great place to start. Pour that into a, uh, a safe container and just look at how much water you have. You'll see it separate pretty easily. And um, if you've got an excessive amount of water, put it back on, try to run it again and see, do we get a bunch more water in there? Well, now we know what the issue is and we can address it by either treating it, uh, getting rid of that, uh, that fuel and replacing it. Next is overheating. Hey, it, yet the, the water is usually acting as the, uh, the radiator for your boat. Even if you have a closed cooling system, you're still sucking up water uh, for that heat exchange. And if you suck up something on that intake, well, usually on the lower units, um, it can cut off the water supply. It can start to, to make the boat overheat. You gotta pay really close attention to your gauges and know where the normal operating zone is for your boat uh, in different water temperatures. And if you see that creeping up to 220, 240, 260, hey, you got an issue, your alarm will probably go off telling you you're getting too hot. Turn that boat off, raise your lower unit, take a look at what's going on. Sometimes just by the nature of shutting it off, if you've got grass or maybe a plastic bag that you sucked up on those intakes, it can release those and um, you're not gonna have an issue crank it up and you're good to go. Or it could be the impeller. Maybe it's time to replace the impeller and um, and that's going to be able to solve your issue. Or you've got some riser and manifold issues where the water jackets are starting to rust out and that water is not actually cooling and that will have your boat just running at higher temperatures uh, than normal. And, and that's a little bit uh, more involved of a, of a repair. Next, is a dead battery. Hey, your battery is designed to last three, four, maybe if you get five years out of it, if you take great care of it and never run it dead, um, and you're got, you don't have a lot of juice being pulled from it. Uh, but if you got a dead battery, check your terminals first. Make sure there's not too much corrosion or a, a loose connection somewhere, your battery switch, uh, the battery terminals. Um, always carry a jump pack with you, so that way you've got the ability to jump yourself if you do run a dead battery down. Um, it, check your your battery switch. Make sure it's on um, one. If, if you can time together with the parallel, that might pull both batteries together to give you just enough to start it out. And then check your fuses. It may not be the battery at all. Maybe it's just be a, a fuse between um, the ignition and the battery that's blown. And it seems like you're not getting juice, but there's just not a connection. Next, the engine just won't start. Well, this could be a very simple thing. It could be as simple as your kill switch. Maybe it, um, it's it got just a little bit off and even just a little bit out of the um, pulling it out will keep your engine from starting. Maybe your, your shift lever has gone from in neutral to just a little bit ahead. And all you gotta do is click that thing back in so that neutral safety switch disengages and you can start the boat. Um, it could be a number of things, but those are, are the two easiest to check um, if, uh, if your boat's not doing anything when you turn that key. Next is vibration. Vibration on the engine could be a couple things, but it depends on how that vibration is happening. It could be a bent prop or a bent prop shaft. If you maybe hit something, you dinged it up, just raise your lower unit up, check it, and if, if it's bent, um, all right, now is it bent so much that we don't even want to get back to the dock or is it just a little bit and we're okay until we can, can fix it once we get back or do we need to get towed in? Another is you're revving it up and you're, you're going in gear, the engine sounds fine, but you're just not really going anywhere. Um, well, that could have been a bent or a, a spun prop shaft um, or, or prop hub, I'm sorry. What there is, is there's this little rubber um, piece that's in the propeller that's just glued in. So if you hit something, that rubber will release. And now the, the rubber part's spinning, 
but it's not attached to the propeller anymore, so your propeller is barely spinning. You might be able to get a couple miles an hour as you're going, but you're just not getting that push like you would expect. So all you need to do, turn the engine off, put the boat in gear, and, and see if, um, if you can spin that. It might not even be that easy. It might be tight enough that it's only spinning when you're under load, but if you, everything else seems fine, but when you go in gear and you give it some throttle, if you're just not moving, it could be a spun prop hub, which means, all right, now we need to get back to the dock and we need to put a new prop on or get that fixed. So those are the things that, uh, that you need to check and that are most common. So hopefully if you have one of these situations out on the water, you can identify it, try to resolve it so you don't ruin a boating day, or at least know what you're getting into as you take it to the technician or start diving into uh, fixing the issue yourself. If you have other things that, um, that you've experienced that might be valuable, leave them in the comments below. Uh, give this a thumbs up if you found it valuable. And remember, life truly is better on a boat.